Hey, just got in my new clamping neck feed from Empire. It's the same one that they use on a new Vanquish now, uh, which is a little nicer if you have a stock axe. Um, because on the Vanquish neck feed now, there's actually a neural knob. Finally, no more having to use the Allen key. Let's get a better picture of it for you. So this way you can tighten it a little bit to get that nice snugger fit on your hopper instead of having to pull out the Allen key. Uh, the other nice thing with the new design now is it actually comes with a threaded neck. So this way you can put this on your axe and this can freely rotate it to where you want it lined up straight and just tighten it down snugly so it doesn't rotate around um, it's not as small as the nano feed neck as I will put it right next to the stock one let you see um, height wise they're about the same height uh, width wise they're about the same but the nice thing I like is the fact that I can now be toolless. Um, feels a little beefier than the stock axe clamping neck feed. Um, although this, there's nothing wrong with the new version of it. Um, I have had no issues with it. The only My only pet peeve was the fact that it didn't have a no, uh, tool free tightening neural knob so putting it on is pretty simple uh, take off your old feed thread this in use a little blue Loctite uh, don't get the red unless you plan on never taking it off or making it really hard for yourself to take it off so use the blue one put a little bit on the thread thread it in and then you're good to go I will do a little follow up with it on there so you can see what it looks like. I also picked up a nifty little red lever from Empire just to give it a red accent to my axe. The other thing I want to show you is for those that don't want to actually spend the $34 for a new neck feed with the uh, separate collar, you can order just the thumb screw part and take out the stock allen bolt and actually just replace it with the neural knob on the stock collar as I have right here and voila you can give yourself an inexpensive thumb screw for your existing feed neck if you choose so. I believe the thumb screw is like about ten dollars um, so that's one route if you choose to go to works perfectly fine threads nicely and it's the same threading as the existing bolt so this way you know you have other options if you do not like the allen bolt tightening like I don't um, so you can go that route as well So finished with the install, this is what it finally looks like, looks pretty cool. Um, this way you have a little more updated and a little more adjustable uh, clamping neck feet on your current axe. The lever does feel a little nicer. They uh, increase the brass barrel in there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, as opposed to the previous stock one. As you can see, it's definitely a lot bigger brass on there and the 
that's it. Performance wise, not going to do anything for you, but just everyday usage, just ease of use is just nicer. Uh, like I said previously, you know, if you don't want to change the neck feed, for like 10 bucks, you can just order the uh, neural knob and replace it and put it into your existing stock clamp feed, and that'll do the same trick. So. Again, my axe has the uh, lurker bolt in it and uh, the blurker mod where we took the spacer out of the uh, boss bolt and o-ring and put it in front of the lurker bolt. Gives it a nice soft cushion shot. So now my axe now has the uh, vanquished neck feed look and it shoots. Yeah, it's smooth, if not smoother than some of the vanquish I've shot. So, enjoy.